Well, the big one over the weekend is Arsenal versus Liverpool. It's going to be played on the 9th, that is, on the <clears throat> on the Sunday of this week. And it's going to be Easter Sunday. Not so? So, the match officials that are going to be in charge of this game have been revealed. And I'm going to come out here and relate, you know, what <clears throat> their records are versus Arsenal and Liverpool. In their recent 5-10 games, they've officiated Liverpool and Arsenal. What where the results welcome to rock and media football guys how are you guys and where you watching us from i go by the names of rock and david smash the like button comment and share if you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on the stories that we do upload in here on a daily now we are really having a very fantastic day and obviously it's rock and david in front of your screen <coughs> all laptop phone tablet bringing you the story about the referees or officials going to officiate this game of football. It's so much important for Arsenal and Liverpool because Liverpool look like they have to fight for the fourth spot of the Premier of the Champion of the Premier League to qualify for the Champions League. And if at all Arsenal goes ahead to win away at Anfield, then it would have been a very good green light to them as far as winning the trophy is concerned. Now I've been told by Transfer News <coughs> it's to transfer market that Paul Tierney has been appointed referee for Arsenal home versus Liverpool, for Arsenal game versus Liverpool at Anfield. Arsenal have lost last five with Paul Tierney as referee. Man City FA Cup, Manchester United away, Spurs away, Crystal Palace away, and Chelsea at home. So, that's the record for Paul Tierney versus Arsenal. The last five games has gone ahead to officiate and really manage the games of Arsenal. Arsenal has found themselves into losing positions. But when I went to Google, in the Premier League, <clears throat> he has gone ahead to re-officiate five games of Arsenal. Arsenal has two wins, one draw and two losses. He has issued 13 yellow cards to Arsenal players and one yellow card. <clears throat> you get Away from home, that is when the, that's when Arsenal is hosting at uh, at Emirates. Now, away from home, he has officiated seven Arsenal games. <clears throat> Arsenal has won two, drawn two, and lost three. Issued 13 yellow cards and one yellow card and one red card. That is Paul Tierney. So, this is so much in line with what... <clears throat> Arsenal is going to be playing on Sunday because they are playing away from home. So, seven games away from home. Arsenal has won two, drawn two, and lost three. One red card issued and one yellow card issued. So, that means the Premier League is going to have to officiate 12 games for Arsenal. Arsenal has four wins, three draws, and five losses. 26 yellow cards, one, two yellow cards, and one red card. So, it shows you that it's not always rosy when he's really officiating Arsenal, especially away from home because... Four wins for Arsenal and five losses. Oh, that's really bad for Arsenal. So we might find us we might find Arsenal into a position that they might be affected by the referee that has that has really gone ahead to be given the chance to officiate them. But it does not end there because it's all about how Arsenal is going to play. It's all about how Arsenal is going to play on the day. <clears throat> and uh, let's go to the FA Cup. Home, zero games as officiated in the FA Cup again for Arsenal. Then away, two games, one win, one loss. That is Paul Tierney. In the League Cup, that is the Carabao Cup at home at Emirates. He has not officiated any game for Arsenal. Then away from home, he has officiated one. And Arsenal has gone ahead to win it. And obviously, the overall winning percentage is 100%. Now, when we go to the Premier League... In 2023, he has not officiated any game for Arsenal. But these are the games he's going to have to officiate for Arsenal in 2022, this season. The first game was Crystal Palace that opened the league. Arsenal won it by two goals to nil. The other one was played at the Emirates. Was played at the Emirates. Uh, Arsenal won it by three goals to one. It was played at uh, the Emirates. Yeah, that's it. Arsenal won it by three goals to one. <clears throat> Then, against Manchester United, on the 4th of September, United won it by three goals to one. That is Paul Tierney for you, and that's how it's going to hate referee for Arsenal. And your thoughts onto that are welcome in the comment section below, because you guys have your own thoughts about this referee right now, because it might raise bias or not really raise any bias. For Liverpool, the first game officiated for Liverpool ended 1-1. They're playing with Crystal Palace at Anfield. Then officiated Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest beat Liverpool by one goal to nil. <clears throat> officiated 
Liverpool versus Aston Villa at Villa Park. Liverpool won it by three goals to one. Fourth February at Molyneux. Mm, Liverpool won it by. Liverpool won it by. Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool won it by three goals to nil. And lastly, on first March, officiated Liverpool versus Anfield. So Liverpool versus Wolves at Anfield, and Liverpool won it by one goal to nil. So it's really important to give you these stats because it's a big one. I needed to come out and really throw in there the referee and the officials, and the VAR officials also be named. So we are waiting to see how that game of football is going to really go on and really happen between Arsenal and Liverpool. It's a big one, guys. It's a big one, but Paul Tien, he looks like he's one of the most highly rated referees in the English Premier League. Why? Most of the big games, he's been the man behind their officiation. I remember even United versus Liverpool at Anfield, he was the man. So, he's everywhere. He's everywhere, and he's really one of those referees that has gone ahead to really be trusted by the FA when it comes to really officiating games like those. So, Arsenal needs this win badly. They need it badly because if they lose, if they lose, they'll find themselves uh, five points ahead of City. Yet, on 26th, they are going to be playing City. And if City capitalizes on winning Southampton and Arsenal loses at Liverpool and they beat Arsenal, then they'll find themselves in a position of being level with Arsenal on points and City will go on top of the table because the goal difference is really huge. So it shows you that this title is not yet over. It's not yet over. But if at all Arsenal can really get a positive result at Anfield, I think that will really get them into a situation of not, 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 not find themselves in a position of really getting out of the first position or the first place of the league. Now, let's talk about Liverpool. Liverpool are a team that are struggling this season you know there are eight points behind Manchester United Tottenham Hotspur and Newcastle remember those three teams are all tied on 50 points so if there are eight points after losing to after losing to Man City over the weekend for one they are playing against Chelsea right now. Seven minutes to go. The game is still 0-0. What does that show you? They need that game on Sunday. And these games have come in thick and fast. You know, you are playing Real Madrid. You play Man City. You are playing Chelsea. And you are playing Arsenal. So, it's not a fixture that you would love to be having as a manager of Liverpool. And Jürgen Klopp really is in a very tough state. Because his players look like they are really worn up. Especially the midfield. The midfield of... Liverpool is no longer functioning and it really looks bad even when you look at them playing against Chelsea. However, much Chelsea has brought in Golo Kante, um, Kovacic, um, Golo Kante, Kovacic and who? Golo Kante, Kovacic and, uh, and Enzo Fernandes. However strong it is, but Fabinho has been one of the best by this season. He's really off and Jürgen Klopp is really struggling to get wins. So, at Anfield, it's always a hostile environment. We all know that. United last went there. We considered seven. Seven. So, Arsenal needs to be very much worrisome. Do you know why? They're not having William Saliba. It's going to be Rob Holding playing the central defense alongside Gabriel Mangalis. But Thomas Partey is a viable. I think can give them a different kind of belief and really do those checkmates and blocks into that midfield of Liverpool. So, thank you guys for watching through your reactions to the Arsenal referee Paul Tien in name to play, sorry, to, to officiate the game of Arsenal versus Liverpool are welcome in the comment section below. Rock and David remains my name and I think we are calling it done for now. Not so, we are calling it quits because you guys are really ready for the last video coming through later. May the Almighty God bless you abundantly, I sign, I sign you. Sorry, I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ as Christians. Sunday, it's Easter and Swain Arsenal is going to be hosted by Liverpool at Anfield. It has been long since Arsenal last really collected three points at Anfield. And it's really bad for Mikel Ateta.